Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about the Chantecaille Future Skin Foundation. But before we go any further in the video, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So I picked up this foundation in store at the Holt Renfrew slash Ogilvy here in Montreal. And I got matched with this shade called Alabaster. Now at first I was quite apprehensive because I don't really have many complexion products called Alabaster. <laughs> I'm more of like a medium, beige, like I don't know. I'm not on the lighter scale, but I noticed with Chantec Eye that they do have a lot of very, very light shades. And this Future Skin Foundation here retails at 105 Canadian plus tax. And there only appears to be about 12 shades available, which isn't that great. I do think that they should try to like expand a little bit on that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read off some of the information here off of the website just to give you guys some background here. So it says that the Chantecaille Future Skin Foundation is an innovative oil-free gel foundation with a refreshing lightweight texture that is extremely comfortable. Engineered in Japan, this unique formula is composed of 60% charged water, transferring, transferring the moisture into the skin without the use, the use of oil as an emulsifier. Words are hard. Future Skin Foundation manages to seal moisture in while improving the quality and texture of skin. Natto gum, a phytocollagen derived from soybeans that is a natural emulsifier is used in the process. So they're saying it's charged with water or using charged water. There's no oil, so the hydration and comfort you get is not from oil, it's from the gel water in the product here. It comes in 30 milliliters, it's cruelty free, paraben free, lanolin free, in fact, Chantakai is vegan and cruelty free. They do care a lot about animals and the environment. And as you, I don't know if you guys saw, but my fall collection video with Chantakai, they have these beautiful eyeshadows here. I'm wearing um, the one called Pangolin here, the lilac purple one. It's really pretty. Anyway, they just like animals and the environment. This foundation is supposed to be an oil-free gel foundation with an ultra lightweight, refreshing texture. The buildable formula that provides adjustable coverage while light reflecting pigments eases the appearance of imperfections with a naturally flawless finish. I'm gonna go ahead and include some clips of me applying the foundation on a bare face. No primer, just my regular skincare. And as you can see, you can just go ahead and dot a few blobs of foundation on the skin and then blend it out. When I was in store, um, the advisor, Jessica, she was really nice, um, she told me that she prefers to apply it with a makeup sponge. And normally my favorite way to apply makeup is with a makeup sponge, but this time I actually prefer to apply it with a little brush. This is the brush that came with the Chanel Sublimage foundation. I don't know what kind of brush you would describe it as. It's not quite a kabuki brush. Maybe it is, but it's a foundation brush. It's The bristles are quite um, thick and stuck together. I find that this just really helps buff it out and it doesn't leave any streaks. So that's what I've been using to apply the foundation. So as you can see, applying one layer of foundation helps um, blur out imperfections, cover redness, whatever you wanna cover, but it does leave the skin looking very light and natural. This is buildable, but I don't think it's gonna be buildable up to like medium or full coverage. It's definitely light to medium. You can wear this very light, very sheer. You could wear this almost as a tinted moisturizer and you can build it up to a light medium. It's not gonna be a heavy full coverage, but honestly, I definitely prefer lighter foundations. And I went ahead and applied a second layer. I think that's my preferred method, just like dotting a little bit, buffing it out, and then dotting a little bit more. I just find that adding that second layer just kind of helps give a little bit more coverage. But that being said, the foundation does feel very lightweight. It doesn't feel thick, it doesn't feel heavy. It really just feels like nothing on the skin. It doesn't transfer. I mean, if you were to rub, it would transfer, but it doesn't feel um, tacky or oily because there's no oil in it. But it does feel, not feel, but it looks luminous. When you build up the foundation, it still doesn't feel heavy or cakey or thick. It really kind of just feels like skincare that you're like blending into the skin, like a gel cream, because the texture is gel. It doesn't really have a smell. I think the scent just smells like foundation or cosmetics, but as you can see, it's like a really thick gel texture. 
And when you open up the jar, there's a little plastic lid that says do not discard. So you keep that there just to keep, keep it fresh and just to make sure it doesn't spill because it is more of a liquid. It's not like a mousse. It is more of a liquid gel. So if you are to travel, you, you want to make sure you keep this just to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. So what I'll do is I'll include some photos or videos of me later in the day just to show you how it wears. But I've been wearing this foundation for the better part of a week and I really like it. One thing that I always test for is the smile lines because I talk a lot, I smile a lot during the day and some foundations just settle in the crease here and then when I stop smiling there's like a residue, like a crust in the smile lines. It's not cute. This foundation did not do that whatsoever. There's no smile line residue. There's no um, little bits of dry skin. Like it doesn't catch on the dry skin. It feels really nice. It gives a really nice your skin, but better finish. It does feel ultra lightweight. It feels like you have nothing on the skin. It, it's really nice. It does in fact feel ultra lightweight. It feels like you have absolutely nothing on your skin, which is my preferred foundation type. I find that this foundation wears really beautifully throughout the day. It doesn't fade away, even though it's a very light finish, it doesn't fade away or evaporate. It doesn't settle in the creases and the smile lines. It's a really beautiful foundation from the moment you apply it to later on in the day. It really holds up. So one thing I want to talk about is the packaging. So as we all know, Chantakai focuses a lot on the environment and animals. And one thing that I think could be improved with the packaging is when you open this up here, you have the plastic um, seal. And something that I want to talk about is when I bought this in store, my consultant, Jessica, gave me this little plastic spatula to get the product out because as you can tell, it's a jar. So when you get the product out, you need something. You could use your finger, which is not super hygienic. You could use a Q-tip. You could use the back of a makeup brush, you know? But she gave me this here, which doesn't, like, I think this was part of, like, Holt Renfrew Ogilvy. Like, you know when you go to a makeup counter, they have little random makeup tools like this? This is something that she gave me that I asked for because I asked her how to get the product out because because oftentimes when you buy a product in a jar like this, let's say an eye cream, it'll come with a little spatula or, you know, those little tools that have like a ball on the side and you can take the product and apply it. So I thought that this would come with its own spatula, but it does not. So here is my proposition to Shantakai if they are listening, probably not. What if they had a little spatula that would fit on top here? I'm going to go ahead and show you like something like this, like something smaller that would just fit here. And I'm just gonna show you what I mean because I have this makeup remover here from a pharmacy, it's wonderful. And on top here, they have a little plastic seal and they have a spatula that just kind of snaps in place. And then, you know, oh wait, this is hard to do without eyes, there we go. It just like snaps here, so it just stays in place. And then when, when you wanna use the product, you just take it like this. and then you dig in and use the product. Like what if Chantakai did that with their foundation? And I know what you're thinking. If this company cares so much about the environment, why would they just dish out like single use plastic all over the place? I get it. So what if when you buy online, like initially when you first buy the foundation, you get your foundation with a little spatula on top. And then when you want to replenish, you can have the option. Like, you know, when you buy online, sometimes you get the option of adding gift wrapping or something like that. Like, what if when you buy the foundation online, you have the option of, do you want a spatula or not? Because it, really, when you have, once you have one spatula, you don't really need to get like a new one every time you buy a new foundation. And then if you're buying in store, you can ask for one in store. Does that make sense? What are your thoughts on that? I know that that um, makeup remover was much bigger than this little jar here, but if they just had like a little spatula or something, I think that would be nice. So that about does it for the video. Overall, I really like this foundation. I think it is really nice. It is more expensive. Obviously it's 105 Canadian plus tax. So if you've been on the fence about this foundation, if you've been willing or hesitating to try it, I do think it is worth it. It's a really nice luxury foundation. It is more light to medium. I think sometimes people get confused when luxury items are not super full coverage or you know things like that, but 
for me, even if a foundation is very expensive, I still don't necessarily want it to be very full coverage. Like to me, price and full coverage don't really coincide. I much prefer a light to medium natural finish, natural feeling foundation to a full coverage one. So even if something is very expensive, as long as it feels nice and performs well, that's all that matters to me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this pre-filmed video. As you guys are watching this, I am in France, gallivanting along the streets of Paris. So on that note, that is all I have for you guys for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.